Number one. Hi, Ron. Why are you sitting there? Where's the new receptionist? She called to say she'll be late. Again? That's the third time since she started. What's her excuse now? She said her babysitter hasn't turned up yet. I know she has her problems, but it can't go on like this. I'll have to have a talk with her. Please do. I'm tired of filling in. Question. What is the woman going to do? Number two. Tim, I'm concerned about your performance in my science class. Didn't I pass the test yesterday? No, and you've missed several assignments. I'm sorry. I've had to work late every night this month at my part time job. Well, we need to solve this problem. Okay. I'll talk to my boss about cutting back my hours. And how about coming in for extra work before or after school? Thanks, Mrs. Roberts. I'll be here early tomorrow morning. Question What conclusion can be made about the student? Number three. Hey, Dave. You look down. What's wrong? Well, mostly. It's just that I'm not enjoying my job. Have you thought about doing something else? Yes, but I haven't been able to find anything that pays as well. With the kids almost in college and the house payments, I can't really just quit. I hear you. Well, I hope things work out for you. Thanks, but right now I'm not very optimistic. Question What is the man's problem? Number four. Morning, Fiona. Coffee? Make it a big one. I was working on a project report until midnight last night. I can't believe I'm here so late every day. Didn't they warn you about the overtime when you interviewed? Well, they sort of did. What really bothers me, though, is that every time I think I've achieved my targets, my manager changes them. That's corporate life. At least you have summer vacation to look forward to. Yeah, I hope they actually let me take it. Question What is the woman's main complaint? Number five. Dad? I want to go to grad school straight after university. Maybe I'll do a master's in psychology. That's a big commitment, and it doesn't sound like you have a clear plan. How about working for a few years first? I'm afraid if I don't do this soon, I never will. I'm worried about the cost, though. I've told you I'd help with that, but I really think a year or two in the real world. Would give you valuable experience. Okay. Let me think about it a bit more. Question What does the man tell his daughter? Number six. Shelley, personnel asked me to remind you the deadline for enrolling in an insurance plan is tomorrow. I know, but I have no idea which one's best for me. They're all described on the company website. Why don't you look there? I have, but it wasn't very helpful. I find all the different options so confusing. Maybe you should have someone in personnel explain the choices again. I guess I have no choice. Question What will the woman probably do next? Number seven. Happy birthday, Kimiko. Farouk, 
There you are. I was getting worried you wouldn't make it to the party. Did you get lost? Sorry to be so late. No, your house was easy to find. Actually, I felt a little drowsy, so I pulled off the highway for a short nap. The next thing I knew, an hour had passed. Well, I'm just glad you made it here safely. How was the traffic? Not as heavy as I'd feared. Is it all right if I sit down? Of course. Question. Why did the man arrive late? Number 8. Honey, look at Jason's report card. He's still struggling in math. I guess I should start helping him with his homework again. I think it's past that point now. We need to seriously consider getting him a tutor. We're already paying so much for his private schooling. Shouldn't his teachers be doing something about it? I understand your frustration, but I think some one-on-one -on -one time in another environment would really help him. I just hate to think of spending even more money right now. Question. What does the man think? Number 9 Hello, Michael. How are you liking your new position? I hear it's been keeping you on the road quite a bit. Yes, I've spent more time abroad recently than I have at home. I envy you. I'm tired of going to the office every single day. Well, even though I'm traveling, mostly all I get to see is the inside of hotels and factories. I hope you are not regretting changing positions. No, things should settle down soon. Question. What does the woman imply? Number 10. Morning, Deborah. Hey, are you okay? What? Oh, sorry, Stan. I'm just in a bad mood. What happened? I got confused while transferring at Baxter Station and almost missed my usual train. It's like a maze now because of the construction. They're doing major renovations, right? Yes. And the directions for passengers were unclear. I never thought I'd get lost in the train station I use every morning. How long will the work continue? Until the end of the year. I guess I'll have to get used to it. Question. Why is the woman in a bad mood? Number 11. Have you finished that book already? Yes. Since I turned 50, I've been trying to read more for mental stimulation. I want to stay sharp and alert. That's great. Lately, all I ever read are boring work-related documents and manuals. That does sound dull. These days, I'm mostly reading historical fiction. Although sometimes I try to read science books for general audiences. Maybe I should start reading some fiction as well, before I forget how to enjoy a book. Question. Why is the woman reading books? Number 12. Which trail should we take, Jack? Trail A looks like the easiest one. The cable car carries us halfway up the mountain, and then we hike for about an hour to the peak. How about something more challenging? I think we could handle climbing the whole way. I don't know. All the overtime I've been working recently has really cut into my workouts. I'm not sure my legs will carry me all the way up. All right. Trail A it is then. Question. What do we learn about the man?
A. Annie Londonderry. Annie Cohen Kopjowski, commonly known as Annie Londonderry, was the first woman to ride a bicycle around the world. Some people say she did this in response to a bet that a woman could not make such a journey, though the truth of that story is debated. When she began her journey in 1894, she had only ridden a bicycle a few times. Still, She wanted to prove women had the mental and physical strength to meet such a challenge. Londonderry believed women should be less restricted in their family and work lives and encouraged women to wear whatever clothing they wanted. In fact, she wore men's clothing for much of her journey. Along the way, Londonderry made money in various ways. Including telling stories of her adventures and displaying companies' advertising posters on her bicycles. In fact, the nickname Londonderry comes from the name of a spring water company whose product she promoted. Questions. Number 13. What is one reason Annie Londonderry began her trip? Number 14. What is one way Londonderry earned money on her trip? B. Barn quilts. Quilting involves sewing layers of fabric into patterns to create a warm, attractive blanket known as a quilt. On farms in some parts of the U.S., however, quilt patterns are also used for a different purpose to create artwork on the side of barns. The practice of painting symbols on barns was first brought to the U.S. in the 1800s by German immigrants who believed the images would bring good fortune to their farms. In 2001, one American woman decided to paint a quilt design on her barn. To honor her mother, who had been a quilt maker. She encouraged other barn owners to decorate their barns with similar designs, now known as barn quilts. This led to the creation of a barn quilt trail, a series of local barn quilts that visitors could view. Many communities now have such trails, and the boost to tourism has improved local economies. Questions. Number 15. What does the speaker say about the paintings made by German immigrants? Number 16. What has been one effect of barn quilts in the U.S.? C. The Little Ice Age. An era known as the Little Ice Age began in the 14th century and continued for around 500 years. Carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere dropped considerably, which lowered air temperatures around the world. This resulted in reduced agricultural harvests worldwide. The traditional explanation is that this ice age came about due to erupting volcanoes and decreased solar activity. However, according to more recent research, farmland returning to forest may have been a major factor in the cooling of the planet. The native populations of North, Central, and South America. Had cleared large areas of forest for farming. When European colonists arrived in the late 15th century, they brought terrible illnesses. This caused the native populations to drop dramatically and left them unable to maintain the land. Researchers claim this resulted in a large increase in forest growth, 
which meant less carbon dioxide and a cooler planet. Questions. Number 17. What is true about the Little Ice Age? Number 18. According to more recent research, what happened that led to the Little Ice Age? D. Disappearing fireflies. Fireflies are one of the most beloved insects because of their ability to create light. But firefly populations seem to be declining. The expansion of urban areas is a problem, not only because it destroys fireflies' habitats, but also because of the constant artificial light in cities and suburbs. Fireflies attract mates by flashing their lights, so when these flashes become difficult to see, fireflies have trouble reproducing successfully. Unfortunately, there have not been many studies of fireflies, in part because they are difficult to locate when they are not creating light. Scientists largely depend on information from amateurs, who report seeing fewer fireflies recently. Fireflies' light flashing patterns vary by species, and scientists are requesting. That more people count firefly flashes and report their observations. In this way, scientists will be able to better track the various species. Questions. Number 19. What is one thing the speaker says is putting fireflies in danger? Number 20. What have scientists asked people to do? E. Smart dogs. Dogs can be taught to respond to many words. For example, they can obey commands to sit or roll over. But do dogs actually process and understand words in the same way humans do? One team of researchers attempted to investigate this question. The researchers wanted to gather data directly from dogs themselves, rather than from their owners' reports. So they used an imaging machine to scan dogs' brains while the dogs heard different words. Before the scan, The dogs, which were of various breeds, were taught certain words. While the dogs were in the machine, the words they had been taught and words they did not know were both spoken to them. Surprisingly, the dogs' brains showed more activity after they heard the unfamiliar words. This is the reverse of a human response. Our brains are more active in response to words we know. Questions. Number 21. What was the purpose of the research? Number 22. What did the researchers discover about the dog's brain activity? F. Root Cellars. Elliston is a village on the Canadian island of Newfoundland. Its long winters mean preserving and storing food has always been an important part of life there. Traditionally, local people accomplish this by using root cellars, which are tunnel like structures in the sides of small hills. They are called root cellars because they commonly hold root vegetables, such as potatoes and carrots. The root cellars maintain the perfect temperature and moisture levels 
for preserving the vegetables. Root cellars can be found in many places with long winters. However, Elliston is known as the root cellar capital of the world. For much of its history, the village was a fishing town. But when commercial fishing was banned after a decline in fish populations, Elliston's residents needed a new source of income. They decided to promote their root cellars as an attraction, and today, visitors come from all over to see them. Questions Number 23. What is one thing the speaker says about root cellars? Number 24. What is one reason root cellars are important in Elliston today? G. You have 10 seconds to read the situation and question number 25. The bus downtown leaves every half hour, and you can take a taxi from the taxi stand at any time. However, all the streets going to the centre of town are very busy at this time of day. It's likely to take more than 40 minutes. The subway leaves every 5 to 10 minutes from the underground station. It's a 15-minute ride from the airport to downtown. You can also take the light rail train. It's slower than the subway, but provides a nice view of the city. Now mark your answer on your answer sheet. H. You have 10 seconds to read the situation and question number 26. We offer several courses. Giovanni's introductory course on Monday evenings is ideal if this will be your first experience learning Italian. Martina's course on Tuesdays is for business people looking to develop their written fluency in Italian to an advanced level. It's not suitable for beginners. Alfredo's intermediate course on Thursdays is suitable for people who want to improve their language skills in just a few months. Finally, Teresa's course on Fridays is for people who want to learn Italian and Italian culture through operas. This is a popular course, so I recommend registering today if you are interested. Now mark your answer on your answer sheet. I. You have 10 seconds to read the situation and question number 27. Good morning, shoppers. Today is the Mayfield Mall 15th anniversary sale. Check out the first floor shops for huge discounts on kids' clothing and back to school items. All business wear on the second floor, including suits and shoes, is 50% off. And don't forget the sporting goods center on the third floor, where we're offering 25% off every item. Remember, discounts are only available for shoppers who have registered for the sale at the fourth floor kiosk. By registering, you will receive a card that you can present at all participating shops. Now mark your answer on your answer sheet. J. 
You have 10 seconds to read the situation and question number 28. Welcome to All Adventures Park. Unfortunately, due to repairs, the walk through reptile attraction Lizard Encounter will be closed until further notice. Our space themed roller coaster Into the Sky has also suspended operation today due to strong winds. We apologize for the inconvenience. Please note, however, that our ranger guided drive through safari Discovery Drive. Is operating as usual, and most of the animals will be outdoors and visible. Finally, don't forget to check out the park's newest addition, Dream Fields, where guests can use VR technology to experience the game of baseball like never before. Now mark your answer on your answer sheet. K. You have 10 seconds to read the situation and question number 29. Parents, I'd like to introduce the faculty members in charge of the new after school activities. Mr. Gilbert will be teaching students table tennis once a week on Fridays. Ms. DeLuca is in charge of the swimming club, which will meet on Mondays and Thursdays. Mr. Roth will be sharing his expertise in music by giving clarinet lessons every Wednesday. And Ms. Santos will be available in the library for study group to help students with their homework on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Please speak to the appropriate faculty member for further details. Now, mark your answer on your answer sheet. 